Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Cloud Thinking. Go ahead, like, share, subscribe if you like the videos that I have on tips, tutorials. In today's video, we're going to take a look at contextual tabs within Microsoft Word. Now, a little bit about contextual tabs. So, as you see, we have main tabs up here that we I've covered in previous videos. So, contextual tabs are actually tabs that appear when you're doing a different function right so if you need to format something or you're doing something custom the tabs will actually appear here that give you additional capabilities to manipulate that font or uh, the object what have you uh, so in this instance we can take a look at a drawing tools format uh, contextual tab so what we'll do is we will go to insert and let's go and pick a shape let's go grab it don't matter let's grab this one right here okay so as soon as I drew it you see this now what do you have pop up you have format so format of course provides a lot of additional options in order to manipulate this object um, and of course format is a contextual tab it appears whenever I have this object selected to provide me with additional uh, buttons and uh, options in order to to format uh, this object for instance with shape fill go and as you can see it's going to change that shape uh, shape outline uh, tons of a different uh, additional uh, outlines that you can do weight change the old border of the actual object options or you can actually align it to the center of the page add word wrap around it uh, uh, you can bring forward, send back, uh, select pane, align, and you can start flipping if you would like. Of course, you can adjust uh, where it's located and the size. So, Okay, so some quick notes. Let's go ahead and add a couple other objects in here. Now, there's uh, several other contextual tabs. Let's uh, add something in here, All right? And again, the format tab definitely changes, as you can see, um, to provide more font options uh, instead of how it is with with this current one. So let's click this again. This gives these options, and if we go down and click this one click the format tab again and it gives additional features all because it's a different type of object so again let's undo and let's add a picture so click online pictures we're just going to grab something real quick and let's grab this okay so when we again when we select this it's actually provides a lot of additional features for pictures so you know the drop down go ahead and select how you want the picture uh, framed and there's a, tons of options here you can manipulate the edges um, just a lot of options so you can reset the picture if you want uh, tons of artistic effects you can go through and change and wrap text around it just tons of additional options uh, one last uh, good example is let's take a look here and let's go and add a chart so let's do, let's do a simple bar chart so let's add that in okay so as you can see it adds it in uh, brings up some capabilities that you would typically find in Excel uh, which we'll cover in later videos and let you actually manipulate the data points that actually make the bars again it gives you the same type of formatting options as with other uh, contextual tabs for formatting and once you enter your numbers of course you can change it and it'll actually modify everything within your chart and the same with any other chart so all right, well, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hope you have a good night.